Yeah, look, this first section of COP is so critically important for corporates. Although the spotlight's on the political leaders, the reason why political agreement, political unison is so important is that if you're a global company today, you're working across 10, 15, 30 different uh, climate approaches, cli uh, carbon market pricing, different climate regulations, different energy balances. It's almost impossible to operate as a global company. But even if you're just a national company and another, co another nation and a, one of your competitors overseas has got access to a freer environment or, or greater opportunities in technology, that matters. And so that's why we say the next few days, the political leaders need to put in place that unity of ambition and that unity of purpose so that actually we in business can then make it real. There seems to be pretty low expectation, though, that we will get sweeping agreement among world leaders here. So how might that lack of clarity affect businesses' willingness to invest heavily in the future? Yeah, you're right. There is a sense of uh, fear of failure around. Uh, but to be honest, I actually think we're past the tipping point for most corporates uh, of thinking that actually maybe uh, climate change uh, action is going to stop. I think we're already actually full steam ahead on, on companies making their own transitions. I, I think if we want those transitions to be successful, and if we want global companies to reform their sectors, and that's what we're going to need to get to net zero, then yes, I'm afraid the political piece does matter. But it won't stop everyday companies making the transition they're already making because, to be honest, many of them are gaining from it already.